Good morning, everyone. It's a morning version of uh, News Now's podcast. Usually we do these in the afternoon, but uh, schedules didn't allow. And uh, we have Nicole Bacha Mm -hmm. from Big Brothers Big Sisters Niagara. Correct? Niagara? Yeah, North and West Niagara. North and West Niagara. Uh, With us today, um, we're just going to talk about uh, what uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters has going on, some of their trials and tribulations over the COVID period and a program that they're currently in the middle of 30 and 30 yep 30 guys 30 days trying to get some bigs for some littles and uh you know do some mentoring and all the good things that comes with the program uh nicole um you mentioned i think you'd been with big brother since february yep since february so that's a tricky time yep to get on board (laughs) yeah um can you explain some of the issues with uh, be, being with a organization like Big Brothers that's very interactive mm-hmm. in the first place, aside from fundraising issues and programming issues, um, you know, just some of the issues that the organization has had in the last four or five months. Yeah, for sure. So myself and one of my other colleagues were actually recruited at the same time. He's our digital events fundraiser. <clears throat> and I would say the biggest challenge is, yeah, that limited face-to-face interaction. We haven't had the bigs and littles in the office, you know, since COVID started. And, you know, we went into lockdown. So now it's strictly working from home. And now with the lockdown restrictions kind of being more open, we're allowed to do kind of switches in and out of the office. But yeah, that's definitely been one of the biggest challenges is no person events and really no in-person contact. So, yeah. So you mentioned about virtual fundraising or events, but how have you adapted to deal with that? Well, it's definitely been tricky. You know, we had our first virtual event. It was our virtual trivia night. It was a success. We were able to match um, seven kids. So that's a thousand dollars to support a match for a year. So we raised um, over seven thousand dollars. But yeah, the biggest challenge is it's definitely not as interactive as an in-person event which we haven't been able to do since our bowl for kids sake in 2019 you know one of our biggest events and it usually raises over a hundred thousand so it's it's definitely been a challenge but we're doing the best we can and we're hoping to have our first in-person event come august for our uh, bigger together bigger together golf classic so and when's that it's august 30th and where it is at st Catharines golf and country club and how would somebody get more information or sign up? Visit bbbsmentors.ca. It is $295 per golfer. Excellent. Um, so now the 30 in 30, mm-hmm. uh, can you just, uh, it, it, pretty self-explanatory, but explain the nuts and bolts of that program. Yeah, for sure. So for the month of June, we're making it our goal to recruit 30 guys in 30 days. We have over 50 little boys on our wait list. Uh, you know, we've been trying to release as many stories as we can of, you know. Oh, has that big... gone up or down, that number, over the last year and changed, that 50? It's, it's definitely been going up. Like, the numbers always fluctuate, but because yeah. of COVID, you know, less funding means met less matches. So, the wait list has definitely gone up over the past couple. Okay, sorry months. to interrupt your train. No, 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 that's, that's okay. <coughs> um, yeah, so these little boys are looking for men with real-life experiences who they can share and... You know, a lot of kids on our wait list actually deal with adversities in their life, usually about three or four on a daily basis. And these mentors can really help them to face and overcome these adversities. So it's it's definitely a beneficial relationship. And the one good thing, too, is they get a forever friend out of it. But mm-hmm. um, so so how does the program work? Is there um, varied uh, levels of outreach or? Um, because I noted we have a story that's in this week's paper mm-hmm. that we did about the program and just going out today. Um, and I remember a paragraph in there that noted that, um, uh, you know, essentially volunteers are potentially out there. They've never been asked. Mm-hmm. It's about the ask. Um, so, you know, certainly doing a program, trying to create an ask, but how do you create it and ask, or, you know, even make that initial connection to a big, let alone the big and the little, but you know, how, how are you trying to do that with this program? Yeah, for sure. So over the past 30 days, you know, we've had radio ads. We actually had a billboard ad, which was really fun to design. And it's nice seeing it as we drive by, we have one on, in Ontario street in Beamsville. And then we also have one 
on St. Paul West right by Seymour Hanna and St. Catharines. We've had a couple stories in the paper, so we've had some in News Now. We've also yep. had some in Niagara this week. Um, we've had a couple interviews with your TV, so we've definitely tried to, you know, hit all the mediums that Cover we can. Cover the bases, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, the thing with recruiting men is, you know, according to Statistics Canada, over 55% of men have never been asked to volunteer. Right. And, you know, because we're not having that in person, it's kind of harder to ask them, you know, would you like to volunteer, be, be, be a big brother? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to, you know, show all these stories and successes of, you know, our mentors and matches and hoping that will connect with any male mentors who are thinking of volunteering with us. Um, it usually takes men a bit longer to want to sign up, but the one good thing is they actually stick with the organization for an average of about two years mm -hmm. for a match. So I'm sure the number one question would be, what does that entail? Mm -hmm. So what if you get somebody that there's a nibble of interest there, um, can you describe to uh, someone who might see this clip, um, you know, what being a big means? Yeah. So being a big is basically being a role model, you know, for our little boys who are looking for that, who don't have that on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, they struggle with all these challenges and they don't really have somebody that they can relate to. So, you know, it's really a couple hours a week of a commitment. And during those hours, you can really do what you want with your little, you know, once COVID restrictions lift, you're more than welcome to, you know, go to a park or, you know, um, so it's not football. a set schedule. You would develop your schedule between the two and yeah, as long as you parent. hit yeah, as long as you hit that commitment every week. Um, the one thing is, it is a bit of a process. We are very thorough when we are recruiting, so it is a couple of months. Um, you know, we have to recruit, we have to screen, and we yep. have to train in order to you know process the match and you know let the two meet. So yeah. Um, so you mentioned about two years in terms of, um, let's say average longevity maybe. Um, but, uh, um, is there a age group for the smalls or the littles? Um, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, is there sort of a, sort of a bracket? Like uh, again, if are the kids between eight and 12 or do they, you know, get into teens or is there just a, a range of all yeah. over the place? Yeah, so the little boys on our wait list are aged 7 to 16, I believe, and we usually like to recruit males 18 to 25, but there's definitely a way to get involved with the organization if you don't fall within the age bracket. So. Okay. Um, so another, have, is there anything else involved in that program or the process that you want to mention, like uh, frequently asked questions, you know, uh, something you want to um, the one main, mention? No, oh, sorry, the, one, <laughs> sorry. the sorry. one main thing I would suggest is we all know somebody who would make a great big brother for any of our littles. You know, we've been sharing story cards and stories, and I'm sure we've all been able to say like, oh, I think so-and-so would be a great big brother for, you know, Tommy or Johnny or whoever else, but, you know, on our website, there's definitely a spot to refer a big brother or sign up today. So, but would that be done without the person maybe knowing? So if you pick up the phone and say, hey, Bill, well, and they're like, what? Well, I mean, you definitely should definitely call them and let them know in case they get a call. Yeah, but somebody us. might not think of that. That could put them off right yeah. off the bat, right? How'd you get my number? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, uh, anything else? I don't want to miss any important information there. So, to get in touch, to start the process. Um, so, I would definitely visit bbbsmentors.ca. Um, we have all of our staff and their phone numbers there. And there's also some information about 30 Guys, 30 Days, upcoming fundraisers and events and campaigns and all of their initiatives. Uh, definitely to follow us on socials at bbbsnwniagara. Uh, we always post new stories, again, upcoming events, and that's, that's it. Okay. Now, so let's cover the base of fundraisers. Okay. Um, you mentioned about the bowling being a challenge mm -hmm. and the new golf. Um, I've seen, um, was the, uh, was before, maybe it was the May long weekend, the barbecue, the steaks and, and that, was that new then? Yeah, so um, what we did is we did a summer kind of griller fundraiser where you could order in bulk. It's unfortunately come to an end, but it's, um, I feel like it's a kind of trial and error. Yeah. Event, but um, we're still working on the totals for that, but 
on my mind of any event a success. So anything that brings in yeah. a dollar is a good dollar. Yeah, that's exactly. for sure. So um, through the summer or upcoming, what have you got on the horizon that people might be able to help with? Yeah, for sure. So <clears throat> we're now going into July. So, oh, sorry. So we have our Survivor Suds event. So that's a definitely beloved event that happens every year. So the point is to put in your team and you actually have a chance to win up to 168 six packs of beer. Again, all proceeds go to getting as many kids as we can off of the wait list. Our goal is to get 10. So um, we will be drawing names for that July 22nd and 23rd. And then in August... That's just a draw, a straight draw? Yeah, it's a, it's a nice name draw. Okay. Yeah. And so then, how do people get tickets? Again, visit bbbsmentors.ca. So Digital you, tickets? Yep, it's all online, so okay. it's super easy. Yep. And then we have our Move for Kids Sake coming in August. Uh, details to come, so definitely keep an eye on our socials for that. And then again, um, one of our bigger events is our bigger together golf classic and again that is at st catherine's golf and country club so um nice yeah so now i see last night that um the possibility of moving to stage two is next wednesday the 30th of june um does that mean anything you know the reopening does that change any operation or big little opportunities or meeting opportunities um, I don't know if you've looked that far down the road. I don't want you to um, forecast necessarily, but I'm sure you're watching that yeah. just in terms of trying to create a social atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the casework side and definitely our side as well, the fund development side, we've been keeping a close eye on what the restrictions are and kind of when things will be opening. Uh, what that means for matches is once we're allowed to have in-person gatherings again, which I believe now we are, we can have both the little and the big have meetings. You know, right now we do have social distancing and masks mandatory, is, um, but that's what that looks like on that side. But on our side, once, you know, those restrictions lift, that means we can have more people at events because right now for golf, yeah. we are unfortunately limited to how many people we can have and we can't have that traditional shotgun start. It's um, It'll probably be scheduled tee times. So what that will look like for us is more people for golfing and, you know, maybe the possibility of a shotgun start. And, you know, one of our biggest events is Bowl for Kids Sake, and that's usually in the fall, so September, October. So if restrictions lift, we're hoping that we can have that, you know, that big signature event. I think you have everybody's. <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. there's definite fatigue there right yeah great um is there anything else about the program that you want to mention or highlight that we haven't covered uh, the 30 guys 30 days or just kind of general? in general um, Either. <laughs> yeah something that i'm not too sure that a lot of people know is we actually have to fundraise 80 percent of any funds that come in so mm -hmm. it's definitely been a challenge especially with covid funds are definitely down so any way to support us, we definitely recommend, and there's a lot of different and fun ways to get involved. So I would definitely recommend visiting our website and just kind of seeing what works best with your schedule. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for coming in, Nicole. Yeah. Appreciate your time. Thank you for having um, me. As Nicole says, check out the Big Brothers website, all the information there, ways to help out with fundraising, uh, attend an event. If you want to be a big, information's there too. And uh, hopefully we can make some matches for you. Yeah, thank you. All right, thanks thank for coming so in. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for having me. All right, thanks. See you next week, everybody. Mm -hmm.